Hey guys, today we're finally gonna talk about the new G2H camera by Acara. Now this camera has been available now for a while in the Chinese version, but it wasn't until this week that the international version became available here in the US. Now this international version is gonna open up a lot of features that you otherwise would not get. We've got a lot to cover, let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks so much for joining me today. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Shane and on this channel, I'm building an easy smart home using HomeKit with new videos released every Sunday right here. So today we have the Acara G2H camera hub with HomeKit secure video. Now, first of all, for full transparency, Acara did send me this camera for free so that I could test it out and share it with you guys here on the channel. So big thanks to Acara for sending me this, but as always, I'm gonna give you guys my honest feedback and opinions about this thing. You know, if I don't like something, you're gonna know it. So I'd say this camera is kind of a highly anticipated camera. I've been using mine for well over a month now, testing it out so that I can share it with you. And as I mentioned before, the Chinese version has been around for a while, but you were kind of only able to use it with HomeKit. And now that the international version has become available, we have access to a lot more features using the Acara app as well. Now I've been told that this will also launch in Canada and Europe sometime later, but they don't have a specific time frame yet. It's currently available for about $70 US on Amazon. I'll put an affiliate link down below as well as a discount code that can save you a few bucks in case you decide this is something you wanna pick up for yourself. So let's open this up. If we take a look at mine, you'll notice that mine does have the Chinese writing on the box and the manual inside but this is in fact the international version. They just didn't have the final packaging ready when this was sent to me a couple months ago. So in the box, we get our camera setup guide, micro USB cable, power brick, a reset tool, and a 3M sticky pad and metal plate for installation. It has a pretty unique little stand that's actually quite versatile and should be able to accommodate just about any installation. Now this camera is intended for indoor use only, so do keep that in mind. It streams and records in 1080p with 140 degree field of view. It connects to your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. You have the option for local storage via the micro SD slot, supporting up to 32 gigabyte micro SD cards. It features two-way audio, IR night vision, supports HomeKit secure video, which we love, and possibly the most unique feature of this camera is that it can actually act as a Zigbee hub for your other Acara child devices, such as the mini sensors, buttons, and switches, all of which I use in my setup. In fact, you can connect up to 64 Acara child devices to this G2H camera hub. I mean, that's pretty amazing. Just look at how small and tiny and cute this little thing is. And the camera actually has some really cool features when using the Acara app. And we'll get to that, but first let's talk about HomeKit. Okay, so as mentioned earlier, this does support HomeKit secure video, which is great. That means it does have the ability to record in the Home app and store your clips in your iCloud account. As with any HomeKit secure camera, you will need to have either the 200 gigabyte plan or the two terabyte plan, which will give you up to 10 days of storage via your iCloud account. You have the various streaming and recording options for home and away, as well as the ability to record any motion or only specific motions such as people or vehicles. And since the iOS 14 updates, we now have the ability to set motion zones and utilize facial recognition within the home app. For the most part, all cameras that support HomeKit secure video have these same options and features available. If you need more information regarding HomeKit secure video and just don't really know what all that is, check out this other video. I'll put a card up there, you know, for a full breakdown regarding everything you need to know about HomeKit secure video. All right, now moving on, let's talk about the things that make this camera different. And for this, we'll need to use the Acara app. If we open up the app and tap the accessories tab, you'll see my Acara accessories and I'll look for my G2H camera hub. Once I tap that, we'll immediately see the live view. You can easily turn the camera off, putting it in standby mode by tapping the eyeball icon. 
You can begin two-way communication with the camera by tapping the phone icon. You'll be required to give the Akara app access to your microphone in order to utilize this little feature. There is a pause button to pause the streaming, which I'm not really sure what that would be useful for. There is a record button that will start recording the live stream. I'll show you in a minute where those get stored. And finally, there's a screenshot option that takes a still image of the live feed. Along the top, we have the ability to adjust the stream quality between auto, HD, and full HD. You can turn the sound on or off to hear what's going on through the camera without starting that two-way call and we have our full screen button. So that is a quick overview of the on-screen options when viewing your camera. Okay, so everything looks pretty good, but so far we've been viewing this without a micro SD card in the camera. Now let me show you what happens when I put a card inside the camera. Boom, check that out. Now we have a timeline across the bottom and there's some extra features that you're gonna get when using this with a micro SD card. Now I'm gonna try to walk you through everything because I think there are some pretty unique things here that may set this camera apart. So as I mentioned, we do have our timeline along the bottom. Just above, you'll see these numbers. These are the dates on the calendar that have footage already stored on your internal micro SD card. You can jump around to view the different dates. Now a great thing I know for a lot of people is that this camera can actually record constantly, meaning it won't only record when motion is detected. And not too many of these HomeKit cameras offer continuous recording. Now this option is only possible when using a micro SD card. So we'll see in dark blue everything that the camera records since it's recording continuously. And what I really like is that we get these nice little bright blue strips showing when the camera picked up motion. That's very handy. Okay, now for one of quite possibly my favorite features on this camera. This is something that I just think is so cool. And that is the ability to set associated event labels. Now what that means is that I can actually get visual cues on my camera's timeline based on any of my other Akara accessories. So, for example, I can see a pink line on my timeline every time my front door is open since I have an Akara door sensor on that door. Let me show you just how that works. It's super easy. If I just tap on the little pin icon here, you can see I have set up two of these already. One shows me when my back door is open and the other shows me when my front door is opened. And keep in mind, these door sensors are on the other side of the house. And these sensors are not even paired with this camera. They are actually paired with the standard car hub that I have located somewhere else in the house. But I can still see the events show up in my camera's timeline. Okay, so if I tap the add button at the bottom, I can now choose a new correlation event. And here I can select any of my other Akara accessories. Let's tap on the window sensor. So I wanna see on the timeline every time this window is opened. Now I can choose a color to associate with this event. I'm gonna go with like a bright yellow here to really stand out. Tap add and that's it, all done. Now every time that window is open, I'll see a bright yellow on the timeline, which is just awesome. Okay, now let's dive into the settings here so I can show you everything else. Here you can change the name and location. Next we have our bridged accessories. So this will show you all the Akara child devices that you have set up. You can see here I've got one temperature sensor already paired with this hub. I'll show you in just a minute how that pairing process works. The home page card basically just shows a little camera card and the status of your camera on the home screen when you first open the app. I did set that up just so it's easier to access my camera each time I open up the Akara app. Next we have album management. I'm gonna come back to this. There is something important that I do want to point out about this. But first, let's take a look at the more settings. In the camera settings, we can turn the status light on or off, toggle mobile data protection on or off. Next, we have our video settings, which will give us the option to turn on and off the timestamp. All right, moving on, we have lens correction, which will straighten out that fisheye effect. You'll get a straighter, better looking video image, but you might just lose a little bit of coverage there kind of around the outside and stuff. Image rotation allows you to flip the feed vertically or horizontally, and you have infrared night vision, which can be always on, always off, or auto. 
If we go back to the camera settings, we can also change the language and adjust the volume here. And finally, we can check the status of our SD card. It shows us our available and used storage space. Here we can change the recording mode to either continuously, activity detection only, or even stop recording completely. And lastly, you have the option to automatically overwrite older footage when your storage gets too full. You'll most likely want this on, especially if you have record continuously chosen. All right, and if we go back to our more settings, let's tap on alert settings. Here we can also edit the associated event labels. And it says here that this can only be done when using an SD card. If you tap that, you'll see those event labels that I've already set up. Next, we have some other alert settings. This is a bit interesting here, I found. So the first one will record video clips when motion is detected and save those clips in the album management section of the app. This next one will record video clips when the volume gets above a certain level, say like a smoke alarm or something like that. Again, these clips will be stored in that album management section of the app as well. Now, let me get back to that album management and explain. So if I turn on those last two options, it will store those video recordings here in the album management. These clips and your video messages, which I'll discuss in a minute, are both stored on the cloud, meaning Acara servers. So there are maybe some cases that this would be useful. For example, you know, if you're not using the internal storage or maybe you're not using it with HomeKit Secure Video, you could still have the camera record when motion is detected and it'll store the clips in this album management section, which is essentially on Acara servers. But if you are using the internal storage and or HomeKit secure recording, I would turn this off personally. I mean, there's really no need to send my recordings to Acora's cloud when I'm already recording clips on my SD card as well as my iCloud account. And this final album, the screenshot and recording album, I believe is stored on your device. So this one should not be stored on the cloud. At least that's what I was told. And the clips in this album are those screenshots or recordings that you take manually like I showed you earlier. All right, and if we go back, the last thing I need to show you here is the automation and scenes options. Let's tap the automation tab and then tap the plus icon for a new automation. Tap add under the if section and we can choose any of our car accessories as a trigger for this automation. So let's say if that same window is opened, then let's choose our camera and look at these options. I've got everything from sleep the camera to play a ringtone on the camera to start recording. So basically I can create automations that turn on or off the camera, make it start recording or a number of other things. So this window that is on the other side of the house can actually trigger this camera to start recording when that window is opened. Ah, I love that. This is actually really powerful and a feature that I love to see brought to HomeKit secure cameras within the Home app. Imagine what we could do if we had the ability to use any of our HomeKit cameras in our HomeKit scenes or automations like this. Maybe one day. Okay, let's get back on track. Y'all got me all excited over here with these automations. The last feature I wanna show you is the ability to record video messages. Not really sure who would use this, but maybe it's something fun you could do like with your kids or your family, but it is yet another feature of this camera. Basically, if you long press that button on the top of the camera for three seconds, it'll then beep and allow you to start recording a message for 15 seconds. Please leave a message after the beep. We are testing uh, video messages right now. We have about 15 seconds to record a message. These clips will get stored in that video messages album that we discussed earlier. We are testing a uh, video message that will get stored in the, in the album management. See how it works. So that's essentially it for all the main settings and features of the camera. Again, remember that this can also double as a Zigbee hub, which really sets this apart from all the other cameras. So maybe if you wanted to get some of the Acara sensors, but haven't jumped in yet or haven't wanted to get the other Acara hub, you can now use this camera as a camera and also as a hub to connect some of those other Acara sensors and accessories. Adding new child devices is super easy just as it is with the other hub. Just tap add accessory in the app, choose the device you want to add, 
Then choose the hub you want to connect it to. Hold down the button on the sensor. And that's really it. This sensor is now connected and will show up in HomeKit as well. Now, as far as privacy is concerned, there are a couple of things to note. Of course, we know how the iCloud recordings work. That is all end-to-end -end encrypted and stored on your iCloud account thanks to HomeKit Secure Video. As far as the recordings within the Acara app go, supposedly all footage is being stored on your micro SD card. That is of course with the exception of those alert notifications and video messages that I mentioned earlier. These are being stored in Acara's cloud, but you can easily turn off this option, which I'd recommend again if you're using that micro SD card. Now you can use the Acara app in HomeKit mode, but just understand that pretty much all of these extra features and settings that we've discussed in the Acara app will not be available if you're using this with HomeKit only. But it certainly can be done if you only want to stream and record within HomeKit. Whew. All right, that was a lot to cover. If you have any questions about this camera or there's anything I forgot to mention, feel free to drop a comment or a question down below. Again, I've got an affiliate link and a discount code below if you decide you want to get one of these for yourself. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That really does help more than you know. Subscribe if you haven't and click the bell icon to get notified when we publish new HomeKit videos every Sunday right here. And if you really wanna show some love, consider joining below as a channel member. You'll get perks such as early access to new videos just like this one, behind the scenes updates, and access to a members only Discord group where we can talk and share all things HomeKit as we build our smart homes together. Thanks so much for joining me again today, and until next time, we'll see y'all later.